A sinister shadow lingers waiting for acknowledgement. Often ignored, this shadow holds uncharted feelings and suppressed thoughts that can surprisingly enlighten and empower us. Stoicism teaches us the courage to face this inner darkness, revealing that our fears might actually hold the keys to our greatest strengths. Today we dive deep into the concept of the shadow self, a crucial yet often overlooked aspect of our psyche. By embracing this part of ourselves, we can achieve a more profound understanding and a fuller expression of who we are. This journey isn't just about confronting what we hide from the world, it's about discovering the untapped potential and wisdom within us. Join me as we explore how facing our darkest parts can lead to our brightest moments. If you appreciate the insights and discussions we're sharing, please hit the subscribe button and watch the entire video to ensure you get the full story and all the transformative ideas we're exploring together. Imagine your dark side as a rich, fertile soil from which the most authentic version of yourself can grow. This concept isn't new in philosophy. Marcus Aurelius once noted that accepting and understanding all facets of our nature, not just the pleasant ones, is crucial to developing wisdom and virtue. He believed that every part of us has something to teach us, even the parts we are inclined to hide or suppress. Your shadow, as it's often called in psychology, isn't just a collection of negatives. It's a fundamental part of who you are. By confronting and integrating this shadow, you embark on a journey toward a more complete self, unearthing not only roots but also buried treasures. Plato also touched upon this when he discussed the psyche, emphasizing the importance of self-awareness in achieving philosophical wisdom. He suggested that knowing oneself is the first step toward any form of wisdom. Acknowledging your dark side doesn't mean giving into it, but understanding its place in your life. Seneca argued that self-mastery involves a harmonious relationship with all aspects of one's character. He said that it is not the absence of vices that leads to virtue, but the struggle against them. This struggle doesn't weaken us. Rather, it strengthens and deepens our character. Your shadow can reveal strengths you didn't know you had. For instance, traits like assertiveness or ambition might appear as aggression or selfishness in your shadow. Yet these can also be the very traits that, when balanced and properly directed, lead to personal success and fulfillment. Aristotle discussed this as the golden mean, the desirable middle between two extremes, one of excess and the other of deficiency. By exploring your darker traits, you can find the balance necessary to harness them productively. Embracing your shadow isn't just about making peace with your darker aspects. It's about using them as catalysts for growth and transformation. Socrates famously said, an unexamined life is not worth living. By examining even the darkest parts of ourselves, we lead a fuller, more examined, and ultimately more satisfying life. This process is integral to becoming not only a well-rounded individual but a truly enlightened one. Stoicism, a school of philosophy that teaches the value of understanding and controlling one's emotions, encourages us to scrutinize our impulses especially those we might not be proud of. Epictetus often spoke about the insights we can gain from our reactions to external circumstances. He suggested that it's not the events themselves that disturb us, but our interpretations of them. Your dark side, comprising emotions like anger, envy, or fear, often reflects underlying issues or needs that aren't being addressed. For example, anger might indicate where you feel your rights are being infringed or where you're not standing up for yourself. Jealousy could highlight areas where you feel inadequate or unsatisfied with your achievements compared to others. These emotions, while uncomfortable, signal a need for change or adjustment in your life. Aristotle talked about the importance of developing virtue through understanding our emotions and habits. He believed that by facing these emotions and understanding their roots, we could develop a better sense of the golden mean, leading to moral virtue. So, when you experience these strong, dark emotions, it's an invitation to pause and listen carefully. What are they trying to communicate? Perhaps it's time to reassess your boundaries, speak up about your needs, or even change the path you're on. This isn't about reacting spontaneously to these feelings, but rather using them as a compass to guide your decisions and actions more thoughtfully. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the insights one could gain from introspection. He advocated for a life examined, 
where each impulse and reaction is observed, analyzed, and learned from. This practice helps in managing emotions and transforming them into actions that reflect our true values and goals. Your dark side doesn't just challenge you, it also advises you. It pushes you to confront the parts of your life that you may be ignoring or mishandling. Listening to this side of yourself doesn't mean giving in to negative impulses. Rather, it means using your understanding of these impulses to bring about positive change. By doing so, you align more closely with Socrates' ideal of living a life that is not only examined but also enlightened, making informed decisions that enhance your well-being and growth. Exploring the theme of how embracing your dark side can reveal and enhance your unique character traits, we find profound wisdom in the teachings of Stoicism. This philosophical approach urges us to accept every part of ourselves, including the aspects we might find uncomfortable or undesirable. This full acceptance is crucial for achieving true authenticity, a state where we are fully ourselves without pretense or suppression. Stoic philosophers like Marcus Aurelius emphasize the importance of self-acceptance as a path to wisdom and personal integrity. He believed that understanding ourselves completely, including our darker sides, helps us live in harmony with nature and according to our true selves. This idea aligns with the psychological concept of the shadow introduced by Carl Jung, which includes all the parts of ourselves we deny or hide from. By confronting and integrating these shadow aspects, we not only become more whole, but also unlock aspects of our personality that are unique and powerful. For instance, traits such as assertiveness or boldness may initially appear as aggressiveness or recklessness in our shadow. However, when recognized and properly managed, these traits can become powerful tools for leadership and innovation. This transformation is not about indulging negative impulses, but about understanding them so deeply that we can redirect their energy in constructive ways. Seneca spoke about the virtue of resilience, which often grows from wrestling with our inner conflicts and perceived weaknesses. He suggested that our most challenging traits could lead to our greatest strengths when approached with wisdom and courage. This process involves reflecting on how these characteristics manifest in our lives and seeking ways to balance and integrate them into a coherent whole. Embracing your dark side not only contributes to a more authentic life, but also distinguishes you from others. Each person's shadow is different and how we choose to integrate it reflects our unique values and experiences. Plato once argued that self-knowledge was a fundamental precursor to wisdom. By understanding our darker sides, we gain insights into our deepest motivations and potential, crafting a life that truly reflects who we are. Your dark side is not something to be feared or suppressed, but embraced and understood. This comprehensive self-awareness allows us to express the full spectrum of our personality, contributing to our uniqueness and authenticity. It is a journey that requires courage, reflection, and a deep commitment to personal growth, all virtues extolled by Stoic philosophy. Embracing your dark side is not always an easy or straightforward process. There are times when it may seem as if this part of yourself is actively working against you. This internal conflict is perfectly natural and is something that Stoic philosophy, in particular, prepares us to handle. The Stoics teach us that life is full of challenges and that growth often comes from struggling with rather than avoiding these internal conflicts. Marcus Aurelius often wrote about the importance of meeting adversity with resilience and seeing obstacles as opportunities to improve one's character. The concept of the shadow introduced by Carl Jung encapsulates the darker, often unacknowledged parts of our personality. Confronting your shadow is not about eradicating it, but engaging in a meaningful dialogue with it. This interaction isn't always comfortable. Your shadow can manifest traits or desires that contradict your conscious values, leading to feelings of confusion or distress. For instance, you might find yourself grappling with impulses like anger or jealousy that seem to push you away from your desired path. Epictetus advised that we should not be disturbed by these impulses, but should use them as subjects for examination. By questioning why these feelings arise and what they might be responding to, you can gain deeper insights into your needs and fears. This reflective process is crucial in turning potentially destructive emotions into chances for personal development. 
Sometimes this confrontation with your dark side might feel like a battle where parts of your own psyche seem to be in opposition. Seneca spoke to this experience, emphasizing the importance of steadfastness in the face of internal discord. He counseled that enduring these trials with dignity and courage is what builds true resilience and character. Each confrontation with your dark side should not be seen as a setback, but as an integral part of your journey towards self-mastery. These moments challenge you to reaffirm your values and to practice the virtues you aspire to live by, such as wisdom, courage, and temperance. Aristotle also touched upon this in his discussions on virtue ethics, suggesting that virtues are developed through practice and that facing personal challenges is essential to this practice. In practical terms, dealing with your dark side means recognizing when it is influencing your behavior and taking steps to address this influence constructively. It might involve practices such as mindfulness, where you observe your emotions without judgment, or cognitive reframing, where you challenge the assumptions behind your feelings. Each of these practices can help you maintain a balanced perspective and ensure that your actions align with your broader life goals. The fight with your dark side is not something to be feared or avoided, but embraced as part of the complex process of self-discovery and improvement. By engaging with these challenges thoughtfully and consistently, you reinforce your commitment to living a virtuous life, fully in line with both Stoic teachings and the broader pursuit of wisdom in Western philosophy. As we wrap up today's discussion, it's important to remember that embracing your dark side isn't just a philosophical exercise. It's a practical approach to achieving a more fulfilled and authentic life. Stoicism, with its emphasis on self-awareness and control over one's reactions, teaches us that the journey towards self-mastery involves not only embracing the lighter parts of our being, but also confronting and integrating the darker aspects. This is not a process to shy away from, but to engage with enthusiastically, as each step we take in understanding our more complex emotions and traits brings us closer to the person we aspire to be. In our conversation today, we've explored how your dark side can reveal your true self, provide you with unique advice, highlight your individuality, and at times challenge you in ways that might feel like a fight. These aren't just abstract concepts, but real, tangible experiences that we all encounter. By acknowledging and working through these aspects, we harness the power of our full potential and lead a more balanced and insightful life. Stoicism doesn't promise an easy path. Rather, it offers a meaningful one. Marcus Aurelius, Seneca, and Epictetus, all these Stoic philosophers understood and spoke about the complexities of human nature. They taught us that virtue is not the absence of vices, but the effort to overcome them. This effort requires patience, resilience, and an unwavering commitment to self-improvement. Remember, every interaction with your shadow, every moment you spend reflecting on your emotions and reactions is an opportunity to grow. It's about more than just self-control. It's about self-transformation. The Stoics believe that true wisdom comes from within and that every personal challenge is a chance to demonstrate and develop our virtues. So, as we conclude, I encourage you to take these insights and apply them to your daily life. Start by observing your reactions, questioning your impulses, and gently exploring the darker corners of your psyche. Be patient with yourself as this process can unearth feelings and revelations that are challenging to face. And remember, you're not alone on this journey. Just like the Stoics of ancient times, we are all part of a community that values depth, authenticity, and personal growth. Thank you for joining me today. If this conversation has sparked any thoughts or insights, I'd love to hear from you. And if you appreciate the journey we're on together, exploring the rich tapestry of human experience, don't forget to subscribe and join us for more discussions like this one. Here's to embracing every part of ourselves and moving forward not just with more knowledge, but with greater wisdom.